Hello, my name is Hannah Ann Kelvich, and I'm a second year business school student here at the Tech School of Business at Dartmouth. I'm pleased to welcome Alexis Hoops, T06, Director of Online Merchandising at Nordstrom. Alexis, thank you for coming. We're pleased to have thank you. Thank you for having me. So our theme this year is big brands, big data. What does big data mean to you? Well, what big data really means to me is the ability to create an amazing customer experience. So for Nordstrom, one, our biggest focus is serving the customer. And there's more information available now than there ever has been in the past about what customers want, what they prefer, how they like to shop, what they bought from us, what are they doing in their lives. And big data gives us that ability to create a great personalized, customized experience for the customer. So you hinted a little bit that Nordstrom uses sort of big data, it seems like, for you know, improving the customer experience. Can you give us a little bit more insight into how Nordstrom uses big data? So I think we're just at the edge of figuring out how we use all of this information to serve the customer, but it's everything from today, we're looking at what does the customer's purchase behavior, both in-store, online, how do we create experiences that tap into some of that information. In our 100 year history, we've had really great success with our salespeople serving the customer and just their intuitive knowledge of what the customer wants and listening to what the customer is asking and telling them about our products and our services. Now we can get some of that information without explicitly asking the customer. And so folding that into the shopping experience, both online through personalized recommendations, and then also into our stores and how can we enable our salespeople with more of this customer information mm -hmm. as they're out there reaching the customer and serving them. Very neat. So what do you think Nordstrom's going to do to maybe push the boundaries of big data? You know, do you have any examples that you could share with us? Any insight you could share? Push the boundaries. I think we're still just figuring it out and learning and what we can do. What's interesting now is that we're taking kind of small steps and testing and trying lots of different things. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's really about pushing the boundaries. I think it's about figuring out what the customer is responding to mm -hmm. and how we can build on that and, and try lots of little things and see what works for the customer experience and then build from there. Yeah, no, that definitely makes sense. So do you see any limits to big data? I think that one of the biggest limits that, that um, a lot of us are thinking about is the privacy, privacy sure. concerns. Yeah. A lot of this is relative to what, the, what customer information the customer is willing to give us and the, what they are um, both implicitly and explicitly comfortable with us sharing. So I think that's one of the biggest barriers that we need to figure out what's the right um, level of protection of the customer and the customer sure. information, but also giving them that great customer experience. And figuring out the balance between those two things. Yeah, no, that's definitely very important. So what other questions do you think that we should be asking about big data or any other big ideas about big data, you think? I think there is, um, you know, there's multiple steps along the process of how do we use the big, big data. One is just getting the data and getting really good at collecting that information. Mm -hmm. Um, us as a brick and mortar and online retailer, we build up systems in place to support brick and mortar in store. And I think there's a huge advantage to those retailers and companies just starting now online in a digital space and are able to capture really great, robust information from day one. So it's both the systems in analyzing that data, um, coming, be more predictive in the recommendations that it gives both us internally as business owners and to the customer. But then there's this other layer of how do we get the right people in place to start mm -hmm. analyzing that data that have both the business side expertise to to get to the implications of what that data means, but also that deep statistical, mathematical background that they can mine the data. And that's an interesting balance. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a new skill set that I think um, us at Nordstrom and us in retail are looking for that we have not looked for in the past. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It seems like quite a challenge as well. Um, so Alexis, tell me, what are you most excited about uh, the Bright Technology Impact Series and, and about being here back at Tuck? Well, I obviously am excited to be back here at Tech. <laughs> it's been, um, I was fortunate to be back here for my reunion, but um, I'm really interested to hear what the other speakers have to say. Having this series is such a great way to bring technology into Tech. Um, also very excited that retail and big and brands and retailers are part of yeah. this. Um, so I'm very interested and excited to hear what the other panelists are thinking and learning from them, also hearing from the students and what they're thinking and kind of using that to push the boundaries and questions that we're asking at Nordstrom and just um, as an industry as a whole. On behalf of the Center for Digital Strategies, we wanted to thank you again um, for taking time out of your busy day to come share with us um, Nordstrom's ideas on big data. And this is Hannah Yankelovich at the Tuck School of Business signing off.